Woman is brought to you by Splenda No Calorie Sweetener. Splenda, just what's good. This morning on Today's Woman, reinventing yourself at midlife. Amy Robach is here with One Woman Story. Good morning again, Amy. Good morning again to you, Natalie. For Claire Cook, turning 45 wasn't the beginning of the end, but actually the start of something new. And when it comes to making the most out of midlife, she seems to have it all figured out. When it comes to following her dreams, you might call 54-year-old Claire Cook a late bloomer. Some nine years ago, she seemed to have it all, a devoted husband, two beautiful children, and a great teaching job. I um, just really, really knew that I wasn't, you know, happy on the outside. Her biggest regret? Not having the courage to pursue her lifelong dream of becoming a writer. It's a thing I wanted to do my whole life, and I think it was maybe that midlife wake-up call that you one day you just say, I don't have forever, and if I'm going to do it, I better get going. And get going she did. Claire started writing. Her first book was scribbled out on legal pads during her daughter's swim practice. I remember the exact aha moment. I was really watching swim practice with a whole bunch of swim moms, thinking, we really need to get a life here. <laughs> From then on, instead of going into the practice, I sat in my minivan and um, wrote. And at 45, Claire began the next chapter of her life as a published novelist. This was my guilty pleasure. I was really sneaking time to write. Her debut book, Ready to Fall, came out in 2000. But it was her second book, Must Love Dogs, that landed her not only on the bestseller list, but also on the big screen. Come on, girl, you can do this. I didn't think he could be the one. Claire came full circle from the classroom to the red carpet. At the age of 50, you were walking down the red carpet. What was that like? I had a blast. I did 35 interviews on the red carpet. It was just hilarious. It was, um, it was just fun. I enjoyed the whole experience. She credits her maturity with her success. It almost probably yeah. was sweeter at 50 than it would have oh, been at 20 so or 30. At 20, I would have been missed. For me, the gift is this is the career I almost didn't have, and I'm enjoying every single second of it. Hi. And she's Hi. hoping it's contagious. How's it going? Hey, there. Heading up workshops, encouraging yeah. other adults Touch to it. follow their bliss. Is it ever too late to start realizing your dreams? I don't think so. I'm 54 years old, and I feel like um, this is the happiest I've ever been in my life. And now Cook has just finished her seventh novel, Wild Water Walking Club, and she hopes it will become a movie as well, and we certainly hope so too. Natalie? It's quite a story, Amy. Thank